When I was little, I was sure all the vampires and zombies and horror movie creatures came out on nights like this. My parents told me not to worry, because monsters didn't exist. <laughs> but you know what? My parents were wrong. They're out there, and they're not all as cute and cuddly as I am. So keep your eyes open and stay on your toes, because the bad guys can be in your town. Master, I've just come from the cemetery. I have the brain. Excellent, Edgar. Excellent. The brain is in place, Edgar. Throw the switch! to me, monster. I am your creator. Do you understand? If you understand, show me some kind of a, of a sign. Anything will do. <laughs> excellent, excellent. <laughs> oh, they laughed at me at the academy. They said that I was a madman. Now they'll pay for chipping away at my self-esteem and sending me into years and years of experience. Expensive and useless therapy. Go, monster! Go and crush those cretans who spurned me! <laughs> Fielding, what do you say? Quiz bowl partners. I'm sorry, Merton. Five years ago, you turned your back on the pure sciences. You chose alchemy over algebra. I chose a life without pocket protectors. I chose pants that fit. <sighs> Look, you can be captain of the team. Come on, huh? Merton, Gertie Bloomstein is my partner, as I'm sure you know, considering she and I beat you three years in a row. Look, I'm just trying to spare you from a humiliating defeat, OK? But hey, your mistake. Think about that when I'm standing in the winner's circle. <sighs> hey, Gertie, Gertie, you, uh, you want to be my quiz bowl partner? No. Okay. Gotta love the tater tots. Tommy Talkins. Hmm. How's it going? Meatloaf's a little dry, but otherwise can't complain. Mm. Hey, you know that werewolf we saw the other night? Yeah. What do you know about him? Well, yeah, he, uh, he's got. Why would I know anything? It's not like I met the guy or something. Why do you want to know about him anyway? What can I say, Tommy? I'm a curious girl. I want to find out every last detail about that wolf boy. And trust me, <laughs> mm, I will. Bye. Big trouble, Tommy. Yeah, no kidding. I think Lori's on to me. And she stole all my tater tots. It's always about you, isn't it? Well, if I don't find a quiz bowl partner, I won't be eligible to enter. You got to help me. Quiz bowl? <laughs> I'm more of a Rose Bowl kind of guy, Merton. Look, all you have to do is sit there. I'll do the thinking for both of us. Come on, what do you say? Fine. Ah. Fine. I knew I should have come to you first, as opposed to last. Now, what, what were you saying about the lovely Lori? 
Well, she's been asking questions about the wolf. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is gonna sound a little nuts, but a part of me feels like telling her the truth. And I wonder what part of you that is. Mm. Look, no one can know about the hang but me, okay? We don't know if she can be trusted. I mean, remember, she just got kicked out of Catholic school. She got kicked out of Catholic school to save our butts. True. <laughs> Look. She sets my heart aflutter, too. But you cannot tell her. Okay, she's gonna spill your secret. And hairy freaks of nature are not exactly welcome in suburbia. Merton was right. Most people would send me straight to the dog pound if they learned my secret. Something told me Lori wasn't like most people. Hey, Edgar, come here for a minute, will you please? Edgar, my monster is an imbecile. Oh. How the heck did that happen? No, 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 I distinctly remember telling you to find the finest brain in the cemetery. Did I not tell you that? Oh, yes, master. Uh, I took it from the grave of Timmy. It, it said on his headstone he was the village idealist. Idealist? You don't mean village idiot. Oh, yes, yes, actually, I do. Moron! No, you were right the first time, idiot. Oh, you humpback fool. Oh, 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 oh master. Oh, you know how sensitive I am about the hump. Um, do I make jokes about your duty, bro? Listen to me! I need a fresh, intelligent brain. Not some cockamamie thing that's been rotten in a graveyard. I need a brain that will carry out my sinister plans. A perfect brain. This book recommends foods that promote the growth of the brain's dendrites. Uh, are they any good? Of course. Tommy, these are Joy Luck Special Goodness Flakes. Osaka's number one smart food. An IQ point in every bite, says Quizmaster Hotako Nichikama. Oh, oh get up. This is horrible. Ugh. Oh. I feel smarter already. Huh. You know, I don't know what you're stressing about, Martin. You're like <laughs> the smartest guy I know. I'm leaving nothing to chance, Tommy. I've underestimated fielding in the past, not this time. Now it's a matter of pride. And there's $400 in cash and prizes if I win. Mm. <clears throat> studying for a test at school is hard enough. But studying for a quiz bowl? What you working on, little bro? Trying to get ready for this quiz bowl. Never gonna remember any of this stuff. <laughs> Don't waste your time reading. The Game Show Channel thing, it's this. <laughs> When in doubt, just say Harry S. Truman. Yep. Our 33rd president is the key to quiz bowl gold, my friend. Now beat it. I gotta concentrate. Who wants to be a millionaire? This guy. Read Chanel. Is that your final answer? Read, Jess. <laughs> you little stinker. What is the capital of Alaska? What is Living La Vida Loca? Juno? That is correct. <laughs> Next question. Magnetic North. Dodecahedron. Hot pants and bell bottoms. Angela Lansbury. A, a hint of oregano. The People's Democratic Republic of Yemen would. 1901 Mardi Gras smoked meat sandwich. Correct! The winner of today's round going into the Quiz Bowl Finals, Dingle and Dawkins! You're next, Fielding. Bring on the finals. Because nobody beats the brain. Oh, 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 oh. Monster! Come quickly! Oh, 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 oh. Edgar, look! Look, Edgar! Look, look, look! I have finally, finally found my brain! Look! It's gonna work! Ooh.
Uh... Lori, hi. If I'd known you were coming over, I would have straightened up a little. <laughs> Please, sit. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Let me put on a little music and set the mood, if you will. <laughs> Or silence is also good. Relax, Merton. All I'm after is a book. The Complete Guide to Lycanthropy? <laughs> I tried to get it from the library, but it seems it was checked out to you. Uh, those records are confidential. I know. You'd be surprised what a librarian will do for an extra 20 bucks. Mm. <laughs> well, there must be some mistake, because I have absolutely no interest in this uh, lycanthronsis you speak of. I don't know what. Huh. Lycanthropic tongue twisters? Uh. Misanthropic lycanthropes, 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 and more lycanthropes. Uh, how did all those crazy books get in there? <laughs> so you don't know anything about the werewolf either, huh? Uh, what's a werewolf? Well then, I guess you won't mind if I take these, will you? I figure I should learn everything I can about a werewolf if I want to catch one. <laughs> see you, Dingle. Say hi to Tommy next time you see him. Okay then, thanks for dropping by. <laughs> don't be a stranger! <laughs> <laughs> big trouble, big, big trouble. Oh. Tom, Tom, yo. Lori was in the lair last night asking questions about Mr. Hairy Face. What, that guy in bio class with the mutton chops? She likes that guy? No, Tommy. She was asking questions about the werewolf. We have to be extremely careful. She's a wily little minx. Dangerous and cunning and... Hey, boys. <laughs> Scorchingly <laughs> hot. Mm. Lori. <laughs> Lori was on to us. It seemed that everywhere we went, she wasn't far behind. Wow. Of course, I didn't mind her keeping an eye on us, because, well, I could keep an eye on her. Merton Dingle. I I I'm John Smith from the Pleasantville Press. I'm a reporter. I wonder if I could, could interview you on your wonderful victory on that quiz bowl. Hey, if you interview me, you interview Tommy. We won as a team. Thanks, Merton. It was all me. I I'll interview the both of you. In anticipation of the inevitable media blitz, I took the liberty of typing up my bio. It includes my basic info, turn-ons, turn-offs, and so forth. <laughs> Good. I wonder if we could go somewhere a little more quiet so I could hear everything you have to say. Right. Don't want to miss a single pearl from the oyster of my genius. <laughs> no, I don't want to. <laughs> Come this way. Prodigy is often a term which... <laughs> Absolutely not. No, no, I don't think super genius is too strong a term. I mean, I do possess the perfect combination of intellect and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, give it a rest, will you? Jeez, enough already. Yeah, that's what I gotta put up with every day. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this interview's over. <laughs> if you need any more information, you can call my publicist. He'll take care of you, so... He's... Whoa! <laughs> Master, look! He's a dog boy. I prefer werewolf Quasimodo. I may be a hunchback and work for a madman, but I've still got feelings. You're right, I'm sorry. Tommy! I mean, let him go! Hey. <gasps> yeah. It's the werewolf. Lori, watch out! Lori! <gasps> <laughs> oh, you wouldn't hurt a man with a bad back, would you? <laughs> Tommy! That's my goal! Put me down! That's a wretch way, baby! I'm not sure what those three reporters were after, but they had Merton. I had to find him fast. But I couldn't just leave Lori lying there. Uh, Tommy. Lori, you okay? I just saw the werewolf. He was fighting these three weird guys. Oh, one of them got a cheap shot in. Wow, that's wild. It's a good thing I came along, huh? Yeah. 
Isn't it funny how both times I've seen the werewolf, you're never far behind? <laughs> yeah, it's quite a coincidence. <laughs> what? You don't think I'm the werewolf, do you? Well, are you? No. No, not, not at all. <laughs> Be a werewolf? I mean, come on. That's, that's crazy. But, you know, Lori, I, I gotta go. You're leaving? I was just hit on the head. Yeah, uh, listen, you should get that checked out. I didn't want to leave her, but Merton was in serious trouble. I had to find him, and I didn't know where to start. Or maybe I did. Ooh, he's waking, master. Excellent. Excellent. Perform a simple operation won't hurt a bit. This operation wouldn't involve scooping my brain out with a large spoon, would it? Yes. Yes, it will. <laughs> but don't worry. It's been sterilized. <laughs> Are you open to alternative plans? I mean, I'd be more than happy to toss around some ideas with you. Come on. All I'm gonna do is take your brain and put it in the big fella's head. Hi. So, this is all part of some diabolical plan to punish a world that couldn't accept or understand your superior intellect, huh? Am I that predictable? Mm -hmm. Hey, if you really want to blaze your own trail, you could let me go. Let me go! Let's go! No, 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 no. You don't understand. The scientific community will not laugh at me anymore. Yeah. I have reanimated life. But life? before I can unleash my creation, he must be perfect. And with your brain, he will be. Why don't you give the big guy a chance? You know, I'm sure he's a fast learner. He's unteachable. Unteachable? No one's unteachable. You saw the miracle worker? Mm. Mr. Holland's opus? Mm. The substitute. One, two, or three? <laughs> Scuffle! Oh. Ah! Handle first. Always handle first. One of the advantages of being half dog? A super sense of smell. <laughs> Although I probably could have picked up on Merton's Joy Luck special goodness flakes without any super senses. I just hoped I wasn't too late. Well, it cut through that no problem. <laughs> you want me to saw through his skull now? No, that's okay. That's that's excellent, Edgar. I'll take over from here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now. <laughs> this will not hurt. Oh. Get a monster. Here we go. <laughs> the brain stays in the head. The brain stays in the head. Now, guys, should we work something out? No need to get bent out of shape here. I... Another hump joke. Because I'm getting really sick of those. No. Oh. I'll always have to bear for being the genius that I am. Would you ever consider donating your wolf head to science? Well, Dr. 
Dr. Stein and Edgar packed up the lab in Bolton. And the monster? Actually, he turned out to be a fairly nice guy. We even helped him find a job that didn't require many qualifications. Shop teacher. And Myrna and I, we had the quiz bowl finals to take care of. Which U.S. president once worked in a haberdashery? Ah. Harry Truman? That's right. Dingle and Dawkins win! It was a close call, but a good quarterback always knows how to perform under pressure. Whoa, get back! Stay back! And as for Lori and her search for the werewolf, well, I'm pretty sure I threw her off my trail once and for all.